Hey, this is Dr. Fass here, and in this video I will show you how to customize an anti-glare shield for HID bulb such as this one you see here. This is the 9006 that fits into my headlight housing here. And what happened is that when you fit this type of bulb into a reflector housing, it's really not ideal because it wasn't designed for that and the amount of brightness will actually hit the bottom of that reflector and it bounces up and that's what causes all the glare coming from the headlight. Now to minimize it I'm gonna show you how to make this anti-glare shield or some people call it the Casper shield and it fits it's gonna fit right over the bulb like this. So what happened is that it'll actually block the light from the bottom of the bulb so that you don't have that light bouncing back up on the reflector. Again, this type of shield is to minimize the glare. It doesn't completely remove it. It doesn't fix the beam pattern by using the xenon bulb in your halogen housing. But if you will be doing this type of install, then at least do your best to minimize the glare for other drivers. So let's get started. So I went to Home Depot and picked up this half inch. Uh, it's a conduit for electrical work. So you can run electrical wire into this conduit and you just go to the electrical department and it's uh, five feet long. So it's half inch by five feet. And it's a long piece. It's about two dollars, not too expensive. Then what you want to do is measure how long you want that piece to be. So what I did was I took the HID bulb and basically I want the length of that bulb and I marked it with a permanent marker so here you see there are two marks and what these two marks uh, are measured at is one is the length of the bulb and the one in the middle is going to be the distance that will be below where the arc of the light is going to be and I'll show you how I'm going to cut this and get this into the shape of a Casper shield so I'll first cut on this line here and what you want to do is spray a little bit of uh, WD-40 it'll help it to cut through the steel a little bit easier now before you completely cut this off since you have this in the vise go ahead and make another cut right here the middle one where the arc of the xenon bulb is going to produce a light now you want to watch that you cut it to where you want the shield to cover the bottom part okay so once you think you reach the right distance right here go ahead and now cut off on this end so you get this piece as a whole like so the next thing you want to do is from this line you want to draw a horizontal line and also on the other side now put this piece back in a vise like this and we'll do a cut straight down here Just watch the bottom edge where it meets the other cut. And 
and that's it. And here is the anti-glare shield. So now that both pieces are cut, get yourself a file or sandpaper, or in this case I have a grinding bit attached to my drill, and just smooth out the edges. Now one more step I like to do, and it's up to you if you want to do this, but I want to make sure the bottom of the shield is flat, so when it sits on the bottom of the base of the bulb, then it'll sit flat. And all you have to do is get yourself a file, and run this across a file, and then give it a little turn, run it again. You don't have to go back and forth, okay, just run it once, turn a little bit, run it again, turn a little bit, run a little bit. And now if you do this a couple of times, this will sit nice and flat. Here I'm going to use this VHT flame proof uh, silver spray paint. And I will just put a light coat over the surface. It's just for more cosmetic, um, you don't have to. But that's what I'll do right now. So to mount the shield onto the xenon bulb, what I'll be using is JB Weld. You can get this. Um, at most hardware stores and it's a two-part epoxy so I've placed both tubes into this little mixing area I'm just gonna mix it up really well and it sets pretty quickly so let's figure out what is the bottom of the bulb because the shield need to sit this part of the shield need to sit at the bottom of it so what you want to do is first test fit the bulb the xenon bulb into your housing make sure you know where the bottom sits and on mine after I seat it is actually at this angle a little bit here so I'll be mounting the shield like this okay go ahead and put the JB Weld I'm going to put the shield right over it And let this dry. Let this cure completely for about four hours before installation. So this is what the bulb looks like with the shield installed. So I've installed the uh, xenon bulb into the housing now. So let me try to show you what it looks like with the anti-glare shield. I don't know if you can see it. There's that barrel looking thing at the end there. That's part of the shield. So let me turn it on and show you how it looks. As you can kind of see the bottom part it's not lit up so it reduces the glare that gets reflected upwards
So let me show you what it looks like with the headlight aiming at my garage door. You can see that the cutoff is not too bad and right above where the hot spot you're looking at it's really not a lot of glare. It's working pretty good so. Anyways, I hope you enjoy watching this video. If you have any questions, leave me a comment. And if you like the video, please subscribe. Thank you.